Hey there guys, Neil here, back with my first impressions and look at the recently released YouTube TV app for the web, Android, and iOS. So, I've already taken care of a couple of steps where I signed up for the service, I set my zip code, credit card billing address, and all of that stuff. Um, and I've installed the app for Android, which you see here. And the app is actually super straightforward and easy to use. So we'll jump right into it. Um, you basically have three tabs, library, home, and live. Uh, when the app launches, you get jump right into the home tab. Um, and you start with um, popular TV, live TV that's going on with live previews or whatever those, whatever's on those channels. Um, and then you can scroll and see basically what's going on. And if you want to hide it, you can hide it by touching the overflow menu. Um, you also get new shows to record, so um, shows that may have recently been released or are coming up. And then you get th things like resume watching, so I was recently just watching the Angels game, um, so I can easily resume watching that. And then um, what's in my library, so shows that I follow. So um, the next step is, let's say you want to um, have shows that you follow, shows that you like in one of the 40 channels that are available. All you have to do is search for the show and add it to your library. So you get a nice nifty little search um, interface. So um, you can search by genre, network, um, what's trending, popular um, sports leagues, um, award winning shows, things like that. Or you can just search for the show you want. So for example, I like Saturday Night Live, but I often don't get a chance to watch it. So I'll do a search for Saturday Night Live. I get recent episodes. Um, uh, what's upcoming and what's um, already available and I can learn a little bit about the show so if I'm not too familiar but I've heard things about it who the lead cast is uh, what's um, related to similar shows and things like that so if I want to add it to my library it's as simple as hitting the plus sign it's now in my library um, and this will takes me directly into the uh, uh, DVR portion of it. So one of the cool features of YouTube TV is that you get unlimited storage of, um, space for your DVR. Quality does not matter because it is backed by YouTube. So you it will automatically play the best possible video stream available, whether it's 1080p, 480, 360, um, whatever is available. So you don't have to worry about running out of space, the number of shows available, or anything like that. There are whatever is available through YouTube, you get those um, episodes. So uh, when I go back to the episodes, you'll see that it lists uh, um, upcoming episodes. So, uh, for example, on season forty-two, episode eighteen, on April fifteenth, it's going to be um, Jimmy Fallon and Harry Styles. Um, coming up on the eighth is going to be Louis C.K. and the Chainsmokers. So. There's that if I want to go back to um, past episodes. Three weeks ago, there was um, Scarlett Johansson and uh, Lord. So um, that it all depends. And it doesn't look like there's all, every single episode. I don't know if maybe there just wasn't any episodes or anything like that. But you get the time frame from when those episodes were released. Um, you can do the same thing for um, sports shows as well, or uh, sports as well. So if you have a favorite team, so for example, um, I've already added like the Lakers and the Clippers and the Angels and teams like that. Um, so for example, for soccer, I'll give that a shot. So um, I'll do a search for Galaxy that didn't come up. So maybe soccer is not a not available yet so let's do a search for the golden state warriors so um doing this search i can see the schedule um game's not available right now um but the next um or i can see all completed games and see all upcoming games um there's nothing available at the moment but if i want to um add them as a team that I follow I'll same thing as a TV show I hit the plus button and it's added I can see um, team information like the roster related YouTube videos and all of that stuff um, the only ca um, thing to note is that or the one thing to note about recorded shows is that for shows themselves it, it will record an extra minute at the end of the episode for sports they add an extra 30 minutes so in case the game runs long then you do get um, a little bit more um, recording space so if it runs long. Um, 
that's basically the bulk of the um, app as well. Um, as far as oh yeah, and the one thing I forgot is that the, as far as how long the shows are available, it is they are available for nine months after the air date. So um, there is um, that time frame to watch them. So you have nine months basically to watch um, um, different shows. And I guess there is a Premier League for soccer. So if um, you're interested in international. Um, uh, teams and there is that available and you can poke around poke through the rosters and things like that um but basically that's all there is um you can check it out visit tv.youtube.com see if it's available in your area as of this recording it's only available in a few cities i think los angeles san francisco and a few other um you can watch shows and sports and anything that's available on the web at that website tv.youtube.com it's also available in app form for your mobile device, so Android versions L and above, and then iOS version 9.1 uh, and later. So uh, most devices should, or most newer devices should be available, and um, you can easily get started. Um, at the moment, there's they are offering one. After that, it's thirty-five dollars a month to get forty channel and whatever. As far as I can tell, whatever is um available on those uh channels so um overall pretty simple and straightforward uh episode launching is actually super fast and smooth um it's very little learning curve if you've already used uh youtube.com itself um it's as simple uh, basically the plus sign is as simple as subscribing to a show as if you were on youtube um i don't know much about the, or i haven't seen much about the notification side of it yet so i'm not sure exactly how that works as far as upcoming shows so we'll see um kind of how that works um there is no offline um viewing as of yet as far as i could tell so um if you do have a limited internet connection or no internet connection i think we're out of luck at the moment so we'll see if that's something that comes later or Maybe it's just something I'm missing at the moment, but um, overall, I will recommend it. Um, the app runs really smooth. Um, I do find that it's easy to switch between the tabs, find content, um, especially if there's channels that your the shows that you like are if they're on local channels or one of the forty channels like ABC, Fox, FX. Um, and channels like that. So the uh website i think has all shows available but uh if you do if you do, if it is available in your area then you can play around with it for a month see if you like it see if it's worth um the money um for me i the only thing downside for me really is that i do like the daily show with trevor noah and comedy central is not a channel that's available yet so we'll see if it's added later as an additional channel or as one of the channel lineup um but it is something that would definitely um, be something that I like. Um, and it looks like Disney um, is available. So if you do like shows like um, Star Wars Rebels, then that is um, available to watch as well. Um, but overall, that I do recommend it. I'm, I do enjoy it. So these are some of the channels that you can check out. Bravo, CBS. Uh, e, ESPN, Fox. There are a few sports channels, local channels over there, National Geographic, um, Oxygen, Sci Fi, USA. So, um, and then YouTube Reg Red Original. So, if there's certain channels there that you like, then that is also something that is that might be a plus as well. But that's really all there is for that. I'll, I'm going to keep playing with it for over the next uh, month. I did get the free trial, so. Uh, we'll see if it holds up, if the, um, how it handles in low um, bandwidth areas. I know near where I work, the internet, it's not really spotty, but it is kind of slow. So we'll see um, if it holds up, how that works, and how that all comes together. And if even if over time there is an offline um, feature that is added. So that's all there is for that. So um, you can check it out, tv.youtube.com to get more information. Check the channel lineup. See if it's something that may be worth your $35 a month for streaming. Um, you do get six account or up to six accounts to simultaneously stream. So there is that um, availability. So if you want to watch on your laptop, watch one thing on your laptop, watch something else on your 
um, tablet or your smartphone, then you can do that. You don't have to worry about the number or you do get up to six devices. So there is that six limitation, but um, six would be a good um, uh, number to um, or I guess six devices is a good amount of um uh, devices to have so um and as you can see uh my guy right was spelling it right originally but you do have that quick correction so um adding um getting to shows that you might like even if you spell it wrong is uh super easy to get to so that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want me to check something out for you, if you don't want to go through the trial just yet, then you can email me at headphonesnail.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Um, find this review and all reviews on YouTube at youtube.com. PatelN01. Of course, all links can be found on the website at PatelN01.com. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening. Until next time.